Greetings, welcome back to the sinking city. Let's visit. Whoa, let's visit a police station because reasons. Now, to be honest, we need to check their archives to see whenever the ones who attacked Professor Harriet's Doe expedition tried to do any other mischievous stuff. Okay. And the police station is right around here. Don't. Please. Don't. It's right here. Um, hello, did you miss me? I know you did. And the archive is right around the corner here. Whoa, hold on. But the most to find the professor to do some investigate. Yes. One of them was killed in the fight. He caught a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet. Suspects. Hmm. Can be the only thing that there must be evidence of more such crimes throughout the city. Evidence. Criminal pattern and crimes, violent crimes. At about 10:30 p.m. April, April 15th, at the Fish Market, Eastern Shells, corner of the Orchard Avenue and Holy Fire Lane, I apprehended a suspicious-looking insmouthfer as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had in his possession a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye, seized, as well as a dagger, seized. The suspect res resisted arrest. When I tried to cuff him, he cried for help, screaming for his brothers from Eod. Several other armed insmouthers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release said insmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending for the investigation. Lieutenant Phelps. Okay, can we talk? Why? Oh my god, what's going on? Hello. Waste my time, newcomer. I hate you. Okay, then let's check out our case book. Hey, uh, fish market, eastern shells, corner. Wait, no. Eastern shells. Ooh. At the corner of Orchard. Orchard. Eastern. And Holy Fire in. Holy Fire in is here somewhere. Okay. Thank you, no thank you. Let's see. And phone booth is around here. And let's go. Ah, let's teleport to the shells. Um, uh, it's right there. Something interesting? No. I, I thought he was selling something. But choosing wisely. Okay, the eye symbol. Hello. Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. Leave enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. Just a quick word. I love the way his coat is soaked wet. Okay, why such generosity? This city is short on everything except dirt, rain, and things that want to kill you. 
Yet, you just give away food for free. What's your angle? Angle? <laughs> There's no angle, Charlie. N not everyone can hide in fancy manners like the grand families. And our hearts tell us we must do more. We've decided to seize our own fate and rise above this disaster. I think it's going well. The sea is good to us, and it blesses us with abundance. What is the EOD? I mean, what, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit, charitable organization. <laughs> Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. What does EOD stand for? Everyone's obvious duty. When we began, it also had is to help each other. But we dropped that part. It was a little bit wordy. It's Charles, not Charlie. Oh, but you're too sweet to be a Charles. Your adorable, rugged hangdog look just screams Charlie to me. Puts a smile on my face. Oh, fine. It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Uh, do you need me to sail somewhere? I have a boat. As much as I'd love to go sailing with you, I actually had something else in mind. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. See you later. Okay, new night palace clue. I'm gonna open up the starving EOD is giving away fish. The EOD helps prevent famine. Without the fish provided by the EOD, the city is at risk of famine. Okay, let's get it into shawls. Oh my god, can I? Oh, not yet. In the western. Western shells on Hawking Lane between Warren, between Warren and Inner Shield, Liberty Road. Okay, so it's here, somewhere. Can I delete this one? Let's go. Okay, it's night now. How do I? Nope. Nope. No, definitely not. I have to use my flashlight. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Definitely not. Hey. Wait, actually? Uh, for your mess, my past actually doesn't come back. Oof. Nope. 
What the hell is that? That's no ordinary what is this? Pangolin? With eight legs? Ugh. Oh. Looty. Rags. Okay, can be useful. Am I here yet? Oh my, okay, it will be a kind of walk. So, how is your day today? Is it good? Is it bad? Or uh, it just is? Oh, really don't do that. Uh, I have a rough couple of days. Can sleep really. I'm taking melatonin. Give me a float. Hello, mister. Do you offer something? No, okay. See you later then. Wait. Okay, I can. S it's better if I go here and turn around here. Kinda worked. First. What the hell is with your legs? Never mind. Uh, secondly, let's go for that phone booth. Don't have to run around so much. Where is it? It. Oh, it's here. You're on the right? No, I'm not on the right street, unfortunately. Again, your legs, and you're fine. Oh no, that means trouble. Luckily, we can we can go inside. Hi. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. <sighs> sea be praised. Finally, I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes, how can I help you? Uh, what happened here? Tell me what happened. Don't skimp on the details. Uh, not much to tell, sadly. You were drinking. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. I doubt he was after the fish. Okay, let's go for all of that. Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. The average Joe. Not for his uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. What did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. How can you be so sure? Go after that. Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. What's the deal with the the password and such? Orders from the higher ups. I don't get to ask why. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. I feel I'm being cursed more than blessed. No. Oh. Just a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Yeah, please tell me that the sound I'm hearing is not real. I 
unfortunately it is real nope 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 okay but it seems to be all the way yeah Don't do that. Please. Can I look at the oh? So first it ate the fish and now it's dead. That's troubling. The fact that it, it's dead after it ate the fish is troubling, but not the fact that... Not the fact that it's half... cat and half some kind of a shrimp. Nope, nope, definitely not. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. It might be a rodent poison. Don't forget about the weapon. Can't take anymore. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Really? Nice work. Yeah. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Even in the rough state, it's very nice. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children. In these dark times, your toys go down like a tall glass of water. We all pray for your good health every day. We also kindly remind you that we still await your visit. All our staff, and of course the children, are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate and come as soon as you are able. With eternal gratitude, Administration of Oakman Street Jerome's Orphanage. Uh, what? I pressed it down the pad. I have to admit that I had hate doing these reconstructions. I know, know the way to eerie. I am always afraid that Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. I always fear that something may go out, come out at me when I'm doing this. Back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. That's not all of it. Oh right. Let's see what we have here. And my guess is that one was the first one. Professor Western. Second one. Oh, no. Then he heard him. Take them. And the last one was 
our encounter. Yeah. But okay, this is still not everything we can find here. First is poisonous lab flask. No. Uh, oh, the poisoned fish is spreading. Large quantities of possibly poisoned fish have already been distributed to the city's poor citizens. Okay. Okay, I cannot really change that. Those two, yeah. The poison, the poisoner, and the university. The man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. I need to visit the university. Okay. And. Can I share the feeling that there has to be something around here? There is something here. Can hear it here. Chill. I have questions. Key evidence collected. Okay. Brave. Okay, there's nothing else, and what about the mind palace clue? A secret chamber in the warehouse. I found uh, what seems to be some sort of holding pen, or possibly even a torture chamber in EOD warehouse. But this still is not all the evidence we can find. So what's left? Don't. Don't make any noise be behind me. <clears throat> Wait, they check the shelf. By the way, how the hell are they? I don't know how they make those walls invisible. Really? Oh. Smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. Okay. Now we're down here. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? That's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Anna will quarter you. You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's unexpected. Huh. Hmm. Well, I need to tell her, but what do you mean by quartered? I need... Nothing personal, Daryl. But I need to tell Anna the truth. Okay. All those people might suffer because I... Because I... Do what you must, Mr. Reed. If it's that bad, maybe you should skip town, hide somewhere. You don't understand, Mr. Reed. You can't hide from your own conscience. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, Drock. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. 
Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer. Except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Give me your map. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Yeah. Okay. So we know now where this is. See, the uh, university. <laughs> okay, it's in the Reed Heights. Let's see above that. Squid and Bernard House Guard is afraid of Anna. Is it somehow connected? It is not. Okay. Oh, and by the way, eh, we need to get here. Let me check that. Let's go talk to Anna. Again, again, your legs. Oh, a knowledge point. Nice. Uh, someday we'll get into the infested area. I just need to get my head straight before I do anything stupid. Okay, so I'm gaining oh, a lot of experience right now. Maybe I should. Nope. I should invest in more weapon damage. But still, we don't have battle rifle, we only have a revolver and. Hmm. Not really upgrade our pistol yet, which is interesting. Don't feel the need to. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. What the hell? Indigest woman eating eels deal. Uh, what's me? Okay, this is why I don't swim without a boat. Man eating eels. Okay, I'll get this one. You will not see me. Stepping into the water without proper equipment. Okay. There's simply no way that's gonna happen. Can I get from here? Sure, I can. By the way, if you're tra trip tryptophobic, thing is the word. Try not to look. Ooh, that's a lot of, lots of stuff. Wonder which one deals more damage. Okay, can I carry more? Sensible or oh, more reasonable? No. Okay, it's just the one. Okay, and the other one. Oh my god. I missed. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we're gonna we're going out. Okay. No, I'm not mad. You saw that thing. Oh, I didn't hear. Okay. Can I now take this, please? Thank you. Two more pistol rounds. I saw something? Yeah. What do you sense? Oh, 
What? That thing? Oh. My cherished flock, K, I believe, has forsaken us, assuming, of course, any such being exists. Are we to die frightened? Are we to die mad? Death would be merciful indeed in the face of this second flood. There will be no rainbow to blossom over our corpses. The sea beckons to me in a way scripture never has, as she has always done since beasts who will be men oozed from her briny womb. I will go to seek her soon and draw her salt-laden baptismal breath into my own lungs. May she forgive us for our hubris, your shepherd. Zachariah James Baker Nope. <laughs> okay, are you are you fine? It's a very nice octopa octopus. Oh, pretty. Even though it's dead and rotting, it still looks nice. Anything else here? I sure don't see anything. Okay, I searched for that one, and I searched for that one for sure. Okay, get ready. First aid kit. Okay, nothing here. The lack of sound is sometimes oh much more terrifying than sounds itself. Where the hell are doors? I'm pretty sure this is the way I came in. No, it's not. Okay. I'm just scaring myself at this point. Oh my god. Okay, I remember your legs. So I wanna go that way and then turn left. Just like so. Anna, where are you? Anna. Really though. I like the fact that you have to. Really, just now I, I look at what? I thought I saw it earlier. Oh no, I, oh, no, I was on the other side, the building. I'm not giving away any more fish. Here you are now. Where is she? Here. Take as much as you need. You want a fishy? No, I don't want your poisonous fish. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded. At least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. Any theories on who might have done this? Any enemies? <laughs> the EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. It could be anyone. It could be the police, the Ku Klux Klan, see, take them. 
Or even the Throgmortons. We were always a thorn in the side of those apes. What do you want me to do with the Poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome, if you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? He deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Good okay. I actually thought that he. Oh, this is the. I damn it. I thought that he's gonna say like he missed him, like he missed the whole stuff. Not just he missed him with the harpoon. <laughs> uh, damn it. So I right after all. What a shame. I've found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me? You found what? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. See you later. Okay. And I guess that will be it for today. It's running out of time and it's already getting dark. And it's raining again. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye.